<laughs> Hello? Hello? I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, OBS, like, OBS was fine. And then all of a sudden it, like, popped up a thing that said crash, like, that it crashed. But it, like, the thing that said it crashed was behind one of my fucking windows, so I couldn't see it. And then all of a sudden I saw it, like, peeking through, and I was like, wait, OBS crashed? But it's still, like, showing me levels and shit. Everything's fine. And then it actually crashed after I said, don't send a crash report. So thank you all for sticking with me through this troubling time. Also, what's going on, Lucy Luckless? It's the first time I've noticed your name. Welcome. Fuck, I'm not, I'm not sure which way we're supposed to go here. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. I fucking I remember the very beginning of this game and nothing else. Do we want to go up those stairs, maybe? There's two directions we can go. There was another door in there that we could have... Oh, okay. I feel like these guys are way too late game for us. Then again, one-shotting with the parry. You're back. I really am. As prophesized. Alright, these fucking birds definitely have more health. That's another thing I don't like about Bloodborne, is how they keep the same enemies and just start fucking adding health to them. Makes the progression feel a little bit shitty. Like, you know, in the... In the Souls games, they do that every now and then. But it's, it's pretty inf infrequent. Like, there's a couple times where they'll, like, put a boss as a normal enemy later in the game, but they'll actually make him a little bit weaker or something. It's just weird to have that inconsistency, you know? As it was foretold in the scrolls. There's nothing late game about Michael Myers wannabes. I don't know, man. They're pretty big. There's just there's something intimidating about them. So this is shut. Hey, we got the shield. Whoa! Buddy. Oh, I hate when games just add health to make things harder. It bores me. I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not. But, yeah, that's basically how I feel. Like, why, like, fucking make a new enemy that is genuinely harder and also has more health. It'd be much more interesting. And I know fucking AAA games cost a lot of money to make and all that shit. But it also costs a lot of money to buy. If I'm going to pay that much money for a game, I'm going to expect something other than a fucking crow with more health. Damn it. That's one of the very few things I actually like about Scholar of the First Sin. More pursuers. Fucking pursuer as in the, uh, like the big round knight guy with the sword that curses you and shit. There's more of those encounters. So that seems like a dead end. But, there are more ways. There was nothing back here, was there? I don't think so. I, that's what I liked about Painkiller. Every level had three new enemies or so. Dude, fucking Painkiller was sweet. The end game does have way different enemies. Yeah, the game, for the most part, doesn't really suffer from, like, reusing enemies. But there's some just weird enemies that it reuses. Like, it uses the crows, like, the whole fucking game. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. The, the crows are the biggest offender. Wow, it was weird. And it's especially annoying because the crows are so fucking anno like their sound sucks and they're like annoying to fight. It's like they found like, they took everything that made the dogs annoying to fight in the other Souls games and then amplified it. They just had this weird hitbox and they move around in this weird janky way and they're really quick and hard to hit, but not hard to hit because they're like quick and intelligently designed. They're hard to hit because they're just like weirdly shaped and put themselves in weird positions. I don't mind it when games add more enemies to make it harder, but just making mobs hit harder to take more hits is lame. Yeah. I agree. Give my health back, boy. Damn it. Alright, so I'm not paying attention to where I'm walking, and I'm gonna get myself lost if I'm not careful. So where the fuck did we even come from? We came from up here, right? So I feel like I play fucking these kind of games in the most frustrating to watch way where I keep backtracking and making sure that I've done everything and seen everything. 
So, hmm, wanna, let's go up first. So there's something about up that just seems like a shorter path. As I was saying, we're probably going to want to go down first. Down seems like the way to go in this instance. Oh, this place. All right. So I feel like there's a um, there's supposed to be an encounter with uh fucking what's her face the the crow lady. We are supposed to encounter the crow lady soon. Oh, that fucking dog kill though. We're here to watch you run around in circles for four hours. Don't mind us. All right. Well, if that's what you want, do I have some good news for you? That is basically my strat. Fucking whoop. Nope, nope. Alright, that worked out well. So I can't remember. Does anybody know where the next encounter with Crow Lady is? I thought it was supposed to be in the la the place with fucking, uh, with the weird old witch that wants you to bring people to her. But I'm starting to think it might be here. Going down is usually a good option. What's going on, Raggedy Man? Is that the. Did you just show up? Or have you just been silent? Or have I just been completely ignoring you? All completely viable options. And fucking just as we were talking about how annoying dogs were. We literally asked for this. Oh fuck, I just realized I don't have any fucking health. And get some bitch. I said bitch. Whoops, I thought I had the whip out. Oh well, everything's okay. Everything is everything's just great, in fact. Ooh, all right. Uh, close to the entrance? Close to the entrance of this place, or? You've been lurking, you fucking lurker. I need to increase my chat activity stats to get partnership, man. Fucking madman's knowledge. Most useless item. I guess you can use it to buy stuff, but still. I don't want to buy stuff. Um, hmm, hmm. I think there's a lever up there that'll do this. Crow lady by the first boss area when she moves. All right. It, do we have to keep? Do we have to continue forward further for her to move? Woo! We're gonna have to backtrack through the first boss area anyway. Wait, are you talking about the? The first boss area? Like the giant monster or the guy that turns into the beast? Entrance to the church where the weird lady is. Alright, alright. We'll go check that out later. We have to go back there anyway because we're gonna go, um, that lady that was like, do you know where a safe place is? We're gonna have to be like, yo, totally know where a safe place is. Cathedral Ward is where it's at, bruh. Jack activity is a thing they care about. I thought it was just a certain amount of followers or something. Um, no, I don't think it's a thing that they care about. I know it is a stat that you can check. Like, you can get a graph after your stream of chat activity and, like, see when people were more or less active. Like, in terms of just messages per minute. Or messages per second. I don't know what the granularity is. But, um, I don't think it's... I don't... I'm pretty sure it's not actually a thing that they care about. I was kidding, though. I don't fucking... The chances of me applying for partnership are very slim. The only reason I even added a fucking donation button is because Doxy was getting on my ass. She was like, you should stream on my Twitch channel because then we'll make money. And I was like, I want to fucking stream on my Twitch channel. It's my fucking stream. And she was like, no. And I was like, fine. I'll add a donation button. Shut up. Yeah, I, I, I deliberately do not want to make money off of YouTube and Twitch because, like... I want it to be a fun hobby that I do for fun and not for money. Because generally when you start to make money off of something, it becomes more of a job than fun. Like fucking making video games, super fun, but it's totally my job. Like the reason that I do YouTube and Twitch is so that I have a fun creative outlet that isn't my job. Because, you know, there's a lot of stress involved with something being a source of income. And I don't want Twitch to become like that. That said, if you wanted to give me money, fucking go for it. <laughs> I'm not going to be sad about it. You're a beast hunter. I see how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. 
It needs to be night, you think? Or you have to talk to her in an original spot? And then get to the hub? Yeah, I don't know. We'll just we'll we'll go back there in a little while and see if she is there. Um I guess we'll cooperate with this guy, right? Very good. It takes money to give money. Dude, I know how that is. I had to fucking cancel all my Twitch subscriptions. Felt bad, man. I fucking canceled my Twitch subscription to Doxy because I can't afford the two dollars and fifty cents out of the five dollars that they take. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. Go on. Ooh. Um, I guess we should just exhaust his dialogue, right? Do we have to use these multiple times? No. Yeah, that's all of his dialogue. All right, let's go. I've been doing a lot of art for money lately. Shit, shit's stressful. Yeah, dude. Fucking, it's stressful enough me making games where I am the person who is designing the game. And, like, there's there's nobody above me who's going to be like, I guess the players are, would be above me and be, like, judging the product. But you know what I mean. Like, you have fucking clients where, like, you have to draw a thing based on their specifications. And then they could just be like, yeah, no, tweak this, change this. And add a bunch of fucking work. Not about that life, son. I didn't ask, how's Iowa grow any corn yet? I haven't grown any corn, but I have had some locally grown corn, and it was pretty good. Uh, Doxy, as with all things Iowa, way oversold the local corn, and uh, it's just corn. I mean, it's it's a little bit fresher than the corn I would get in New Jersey, because the corn I'd get in New Jersey would have to be, like, probably shipped in from, like, Pennsylvania or something. Uh, so, you know, it was genuinely, like, within a couple days, if not less than that, of uh, being picked, but... It was, it's, I mean, like, at the end of the day, even if it's the best corn you ever had, it's still fucking corn. Like, I'm never gonna be like, corn is my favorite thing. Nothing can beat corn. Oh, hey. But, uh, I mean, it is nice. I really love the, the place that I'm staying in. Uh, the internet is not as reliable as I would like, but other than that, like, the house, like, the layout of the house is really nice. Like, it's really easy to keep clean, and it's... Fucking the ace. Like, we have central air. I've never had central air before in my life, and it's awesome not having fucking window units in every in fucking every room and shit. It's pretty sweet. And, uh, you know, we, we have a couple friends in the area that are, like, live in, like, Wisconsin and Chicago and stuff that have been able to come and hang out for the first time. That's been really cool. And, most importantly, she's way happier because she's with her family and she can see her friends that she grew up with and shit. Whoa! Thank you to Raggedy Man for the follow. Much appreciated, Broda. Corn is corn, pretty much the same everywhere you get it. Yeah, there's not much variance in corn. Fucking dude, Doxy loves to oversell shit about Iowa. Like, she like when we were moving out here, like we we both like stormy weather. So she was like, dude, it's crazy thunderstorms every single week. Sometimes twice a week. There's more storms here than anywhere else in the world. And we moved out here. We moved out here about two months ago. There's been, like, three thunderstorms. And she's just like, this isn't how it usually is. It's usually so stormy. And, like, she'd be like, man, it snows so much more in Iowa. There's so much more snow in Iowa. And I would fucking, like, look up the average snowfall statistics, and it was lower than the place we were living in at the time. It just occurred to me. I have my voice, like, on a couple second delay compared to, uh, like, the stream because there's a there's a delay for, like, the Elgato adds a little bit of delay. Um, so when I'm, like, getting these notifications and then saying stuff about them, I might be fucking, like, out of sync. Like, I might be saying them before they happen or, like, way after they happen or something. Fucking streaming with Elgatos. Str just, like, streaming from consoles. It's a confusing and difficult thing. Ah, oh, fuck. Missed out on that crystal lizard. Wait, is he still? No, he's fucked right off. Um, I think we can level up. We should probably go back and level up real quick. This thing seems fine. Really? Yeah, I guess it doesn't need to be that perfectly synced if I'm just fucking... 
reading a name off of the screen. Come to Detroit where your muffler is stolen within a 10 minute window. Man, I really do want to visit Detroit sometime. If only because it is the setting of classic 90s sitcom Home Improvement. Uh, we don't have enough bloodstone. Nah, no, we can't upgrade shit. We, we might be able to upgrade our gun, but I don't think we want to just yet. Welcome. What is it? What is it you desire? Let me stand I desire health. <laughs> come to Detroit where you're dead before say you finish I saying come to Detroit. <laughs> I thought Detroit was getting better. Do we wanna is it old Yarnum that we were just at? I feel like Detroit was on on the on the rise. Now might be a good time to fucking purchase property in Detroit. If it's about to get nice, you know? Get in while it sucks. And then in like 20 years, it'll be like second to last in murders per capita. Around here, nine times out of ten, if a car gets stolen, it's probably because they left the door open and the keys in it. Who the fuck leaves their door open and the keys in it? Then again, fucking my dad does that. My dad's fucking... My dad has the most booty-ass car. Uh, it's like fucking 30-something years old. Hasn't been to a fucking shop since it was born. And uh, the key just doesn't come out of the ignition, so he just has to leave the keys in it. Leave it unlocked because he only has one pair of keys. The miracle hasn't been stolen yet. We don't even live in like the place he lives doesn't isn't even that nice of a place. Like in terms of crime, like it's it's not the worst in the world, but it's certainly not great. People get murdered and shit. But I guess his car just it sucks too much to get stolen. I wonder if anybody's tried to steal it, then driven it for like five minutes and just put it back because they were like fuck that shit. What the fuck? Home Improvement is actually in Detroit suburb. Holy hell. Dude, fucking, I'm watching through Home Improvement right now. Like, it's it's the thing that I've been watching, like, while I'm falling asleep and shit. I was shocked to find out it sucking in Detroit. Like, it's such a classic, like, white picket fence, everything's okay sitcom. And it fucking takes place in the murder capital of the fucking world. Like, what? Maybe, I don't, I don't know about Detroit's history. But maybe Detroit wasn't that bad back then. But holy fuck, dude. Totally Detroit. I wonder if Tim Allen is from Detroit, and that's why he made it from Detroit. Mid Midtown is hipster city in Detroit. That's where I attend uni. Fucking university areas are just hipster town. <laughs> Had no idea that show was in Detroit. That's hilarious. Dude, I'm so glad that... We were all coming to this realization at the same time. My mind was blown also. Fucking blew that shit all over the cement wall. Tim Allen is from Detroit. Alright, see that makes sense. Fucking dude gets sitcom. Dude basically bases sitcom off his own life. It's a, a story you've all heard before. Alright, so this was just a little side area. This is going to become a shortcut at some point. But not yet. I just wanted to get the Crystal Lizard guy. I don't know what they're actually called in this game. They're fucking Crystal Lizards, though. They run away, and they drop fucking weapon upgrade items. I hope Home Improvement and Robocop are in the same continuity. Dude, I wonder if there's a crazy fan fiction or something. They're not a fan fiction. A fan theory that somehow links them. Every now and then, I go to the fan theory subreddit and just read, like, the top ten posts from that year. There is some crazy shit, man. I would not be surprised if such a theory existed. Also, I've been getting really into watching, uh, like, video game and movie, like, analysis. Like, not, like, reviews or anything, but, like, where people, like, go through and, like, pick apart the lore of games. Like, the, like fucking what, what Epic Name Bro does with Dark Souls, but with other games also. Like, uh, Game Theorist has a fucking awesome series on Five Nights at Freddy's. Which, before, I was totally like, fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. Who gives a shit about Five Nights at Freddy's, right? It's just this stupid fucking indie cash-in game, bad horror, streamer bait, etc., etc. But it actually has some relatively interesting lore. Like, it's a little bit convoluted and was pretty obviously written by somebody who doesn't write. Like, he's a video game developer. But still, like, there's, 
It's like it's like some of it is sort of roughly based in stuff that has actually happened and there's like crazy continuity stuff and stuff that you have to like really dig into the lore to figure out. That's pretty neat. Tim Allen is RoboCop. He has power tools in his robot body instead of guns. <laughs> Thank you. That is the fan fiction which we needed. Tim Allen was all about drugs before he got his show. That I didn't know. He seems like such... I guess I obviously I only really know about him from fucking like Home Improvement and the Santa Claus movies. But he seems like such a such an on the up and up guy. Like there's even an episode of his fucking sitcom where he's like, Drugs are no good, son. I don't want you smoking this weed in my house. And weed is like, it's barely even a drug. Like it's fucking barely more illicit than cereal. The way I, the way he said what, what do you, CKD? I've, oh, he's trying to say I've always said that I think the implied story in FNAF is really cool. Too bad the game sucks though. Yeah, I've tried to play the game and it's, it's pretty boring. That's why like, I've, I played some of the first game. I didn't beat it because I sort of just lost interest. Um, but I watched fucking, thank you for the follow, Jizzy Plato. <laughs> um, but I watched like, six half hour long videos on Five Nights at Freddy's uh, like lore discussions and theorizing and breaking it all down and that was awesome like that was like not only was it like scary to like just hear about this horrifying story but it was like really well put together and entertaining fucking I would watch a Five Nights at Freddy's movie before I play the game like the, there's so much interesting continuity and like fucking lore going on but the game is just kind of a slog Jizzy Plato, best name ever. Dude, fucking top tier. Top tier Twitch name. Did you see that Colorado made seven million in taxes on weed? Really? Is that one of the places where they uh, legalized it? Well, I guess in order to fucking collect taxes on it, they would have had to. Okay, this is where things get a little bit confusing in terms of what direction we're supposed to go. Fuck that. Get a little bit of our health back off this guy. These guys have some health. Oh, come on. All right. Let's not risk dying here. I really want to buy cereal for some random guy on the street now. <laughs> what were we just about to get? Were we about to get poisoned? I think we just almost got poisoned. Money. Have you watched the Bloodborne lore videos? It's better than Dark Souls, in my opinion. I have not. Um, I don't know. Didn't, for no particular reason. I probably should. Has Where is the... Uh, what's the sort of... The true source for that kind of thing? Is it Epic Name Bro still? I know Batty Vidya has been uh, sort of gaining in fame. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. I feel like those pots are explosive. So we gotta be careful. Woo! Okay, not careful enough. But we made it out alive. Vaddy is who I watched, I believe. Dude, fucking... Doxy the other day was like, Man, I really want, like, a Dark Souls movie. Or, like, you know, something, like, in, in theme that is, like, about the lore. Like, basically something that was a little bit more centered around Dark Souls than Epic Name Bro just kind of talking about the lore. And I was like, dude, Vadavidia is totally what you want. Like, he's like, fucking all like, bard-like and shit. And then I showed it to her, showed the guy's videos to her, and she was like, nah, this guy's just, he just sounds boring. This is just bad. I was like, what? is the man. You can't watch Vaddy, his stuff is well done, but he's too melodramatic for me. You mean, do you mean melodramatic or monotone? I feel like both of them could be applied to him, but I feel like when we've talked about it in the past, I feel like you've been talking about him being too monotone. Everyone takes his word as law. That's the biggest problem. Everyone takes Batty's word as law? I mean, a lot of the lore is sort of speculation, so I don't think there's really necessarily anything wrong with, like, well, I, yeah, I guess 
if somebody's trying to like argue a different point and you're being like, no, Vaddy said this, so it must be this. Fucking Jesus. Oh, fucking poison. All right, we're gonna have to get our antidote on our hot bar after we deal with this guy. Uh, antidote. Melodramatic, his tone of voice isn't too bad to me. All right. I, see, that's what I like about him. I like that he sort of, you know, dramas it up. I think that that's, I think that's his only real strength against Epic Name Bro. Like, that's sort of the dividing factor between the two of them, is Epic Name Bro is more exclusively, uh, information. Whereas this guy sort of, you know, pretties it up. I don't know, you know what I mean. I am playing like garbage. Which is bad news, because this is a pretty long area. We're gonna need all the blood vials we can fucking get. Especially since I don't think these guys drop blood vials. Fuck. Oh, come on. This fucking stun locks me to death. Oh, man. I need to get up and stretch soon. I need to get a clot. Hey, is anybody up to date on uh, Twitch Plays Dark Souls? Last time I heard they were on the fucking DLC, which is fucking crazy. They've been at it for something like, like a month at least. I can't believe I can't believe it's working. They're kind of kind of cheesing it with the whole pausing the game and then collecting votes and then unpausing the game. But still, I cannot fucking believe that they've managed to do anything. And like, even. Like, watching the gameplay, it's, like, people, um... Oh, I guess I should explain what I'm talking about. Fucking, there's a stream in which, uh... The streamer, the quote-unquote streamer is playing Dark Souls, but the chat can vote on what button to push next. So it'll show, like, a tenth of a second of gameplay, and then the chat gets, like, five or ten seconds to vote on what button to push, and then the button will get pushed. It'll show the action being taken, and then it'll pause it again for people to vote. And, uh... So it's kind of boring to watch, but people have been editing out the pauses and putting it on YouTube. And so if you watch it, it looks like the worst Dark Souls play ever. Like, it's just random movements and shit, and even though they get shit done, it just looks awful. So I cannot believe that they've managed to fucking get all the way to the DLC. Like, they've managed to not only beat all the bosses necessary, but complete the series of events. Like, they've managed to all agree on the series of events that must be completed. Is there a fucking invisible enemy? You didn't even know who Ian B was until you mentioned him once. See, he was like a year or two ago. There's totally an invisible enemy somewhere. No, he's under the ground. I saw his fucking face peek through. I, we, we should just go. We shouldn't deal with that. Um, but Epic Name Bro was like the only name in Dark Souls lore like a year or two ago. And then, like, at the end of last year, I want to say, maybe the end of the year before that, uh, people just fucking started name-dropping Vaddy Video. Like, everybody's end of the year, like, these are the best YouTubers who you should go check out. All those lists all had that guy on them. And then he just fucking exploded and everyone started talking about him. And sort of his more in-character nature uh, made him overshadow Epic Name Bro a little bit. Also, the fact that he doesn't he doesn't split between Let's Plays and uh, lore. Like, he's exclusively lore, whereas Epic Name Bro does, like, mechanics overviews and straight-up Let's Plays and stuff. Twitch plays Dark Souls? How is that even possible? Dude, fucking look it up. It is shocking. Like, it's basically just, like the law of infinites or whatever, where they just keep doing the same thing over and over until it works out. And then when it works out, it's like, you watch it and you're like, how is this even working out? Like, they'll just coincidentally not get hit by the boss like five times, get a couple good hits in, and then just GG. And like, they like have a build and shit. Like, they have managed to successfully level up the correct stats and shit. It's mostly vitality, so they can tank shit, obviously. But like, they like have a weapon that they've upgraded and stuff. Like, it blows my mind. And it's not even like it's only like two or three people. There's always hundreds of people in the chat. And somehow, 
The gods have made the stars align. All right, we've we've aggroed too much. We have aggroed too much. We should go back. Twitch plays Fallout 3 now? Oh yeah, I saw a fucking article about that. I haven't actually watched it. Are they doing it the same as Dark Souls where they pause it? There's no way. If they were doing it real time, they'd just be spinning around the whole time. Especially with how much more, like, Dark Souls, you don't have to do that much camera management, but fucking Fallout is a first person game. Like, they'd have to be taking movement and looking inputs at the same time. They beat the game. Blood, the Dark, Dark Souls fucking, they won Dark Souls. That's crazy. I mean, I knew they were close since they got to the DLC, and that's generally the last thing people do before they win. But man, I thought that if anything was going to stop them, it was going to be fucking the final boss. He's just, he's so quick. They started trying to do it real time, and it was a clusterfuck, so they did, now they do a ton of pausing. Yeah. This fucking Twitch plays phenomenon is absolutely insane. I can't believe how much of a thing it's become. Like, fucking Pokemon was cute and all, but I don't know that we needed to try every single fucking game. Hey, man, you know, it's it's free entertainment, though. Can't really argue with that. So I want to fight this guy before we really do anything else. I think that there is going to be a hunter fight here. Like, obviously, we're going to fight a hunter upstairs. But I think there's going to be another one, like, over there or something. And I don't want to do that while the guy's shooting at us. So we're going to go fight the guy first. I can't even imagine beat Twitch beating Manus. Yeah, fucking Manus, too. Like, the whole DLC is really fucking hard and really fast, too. Like, it's not the kind of thing, like, the only, um, the one that I watched where they removed the pauses, I watched them beat the Asylum Demon, which is a pretty easy fight. And it's still, like, they were obviously struggling enormously. So just, it's just horrifying to just imagine fucking DLC bosses, final boss. Jesus. I beat Calamite for the first time recently, and it's only because I had a ridiculously OP magic run. Like, Calamite was the one boss that every time I did a Souls run, I would just get too frustrated to do him. He's so fucking hard. GG! Aw, oh, sweet, his item showed up down there. So that fucking is the easiest little mini boss. You've still never beat Calamite? Dude, you should do a magic run. Magic is so OP in fucking Dark Souls 1. I fucking... I was... I don't think that there's a single boss in Dark Souls 1 that took me more than five hits to kill. Like, I killed Ornstein and Smo, two or three hits each. Fucking Calamite. Calamite might have been, like, ten hits, actually. Calamite has a lot of fucking health. Oh, come on. Wait, no, if I don't get this, and then I reload the area, it'll show up up where his... It'll show up where he was, right? Reload your save mic, because I don't be on top of the tower. Alright, yeah, let's do that. I'm waiting for some indie dev to use Twitch Plays for their game as promotion. See, that's the thing. I don't think that it would get big unless it's a game that people recognize already. Like, the thing is, I feel like the novelty isn't just that Twitch is playing game, it's... Hey, Twitch is, like, a, a huge mass of people is cooperating to play the same instance of insert game that I've heard of. Right? Uh, let's exit game. So, like, if you were to just fucking do, like, indie horror survival game number 23, I feel like people would just be like, well, Twitch is playing whatever the fuck this is, but I don't know what it is. I beat Soma, fantastic fucking game. Dude, fucking mail me your copy of Soma. <laughs> Continue. That should load our save, right? Twitch plays Brutal Doom. Make it happen. And I'm trying to think of an interesting game to watch Twitch play. I feel like Fallout is a really interesting one just because of fucking... Because of the how much you can fuck it up, obviously, by killing people. And also just the fact that it's from the first-person perspective. Like I said earlier, moving and also looking around at the same time. Like, they must be just taking it in shifts, right? Like, they'll be like, all right, step forward. Turn to the right. Step forward. It must be the silliest shit. That's something that I'd love to see fucking with the pauses removed. If they use a lantern to Hunter's Dream and go back, it also spawns at top. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, respawn the enemies or 
uh, have to walk all the way back, so I figured it was faster just to reload the save. And we got the Powder Cake Hunter Badge. I have no idea what that unlocks, but I wanted it. Could Twitch be the, beat I Want to Be the Guy? See? That would be an interesting one. Yeah. Super hard platformers. Or like Mario Maker or something. I want to see Twitch make a Mario Maker level and then beat it and upload it. That, dude, fucking with how much Mario Maker hype there is right now, if fucking somebody were to make a Twitch Place Mario Maker, that would be enormous. That'd be fucking, that'd be something. All right. Ow. I totally shot your ass. Ooh, this guy is, this guy's tough. So we're probably gonna wanna fight this guy and then go back and rest of the bonfire because we're gonna use all our fucking Estus on this. Assuming we even fucking win. It's a big if. God damn it. No, get out of there. Oh, God. Woo. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Fucked up the repost, didn't you? AI controlled man. Alright, I think we should not be shooting him. Shooting him seems to be fucking oh, fruitless. Whoa! What are you doing here? Oh, and he fucking he wants to lead me back up there too. All right, well we need to just kill this guy. All right, that went better than expected. Get out of my life! All right, I feel like we maybe should have healed there. Yep. Well, let's just heal now. Fuck off, fucking bastard, dude! This guy is so hard. We have done nothing to him. Fucking, I would have, oh god, we could really use some fucking like fire paper or some shit. We have some, don't we? Yeah, that guy gave us fire paper. I wonder if, yeah, he'll back up. Let's just fucking get our fire paper out. Five fire paper happening. Also, let's go balls deep. Fucking oil him. Whoa, that would sucked if we had died right after getting all set up. Are you ready for this, son? You ready for the fuck? Huh? That's not a that's not a huge improvement. It's something though. We gotta not We gotta be aggressive while we have it. So we don't waste it. Oh, fire whip, so sexy. I hate how he's trying to pull us back so fucking far. Like, there's enemies back there that I don't want to fucking deal with at the same time as him. Oh, we're getting him. Yes! Yes! Nice. The hunters in Bloodborne are tough. Dude, there's an area where we have to fight, like, three... There's actually a couple areas we have to fight multiple hunters. That shit is... Some of the hardest stuff in the entire game. I've heard that the hunter fight that we're going to have to do to get one of the items that we want uh, is one of the hardest fights in the game as well. Kind of kind of a lot of the stuff that we have to do to get the items that we want is really hard fucking late game stuff. This fucking crow drop a pebble. God damn it. Alright, I'm just going to run up here real quick. Yes, yeah, I thought we missed something up here. Whoa! That's a dude? Actually, there's kind of a bunch of dudes. I cannot believe I missed him and then he missed me while we're both standing right in front of each other. The hardest one, I think, is Shikade guy in the Grand Cathedral. Yeah, that's 
That's a thing that we want, and I've heard that he's really fucking hard. Not looking forward to it. I was I was like looking up because I, I apparently there's that's like a an optional area or something because I'm pretty sure I didn't do that on my first run because I was looking up like the the paths and stuff on how to get to the items that we want. I didn't recognize the areas, so either I missed it or I'm just dumb. Uh, but I've heard that it's fucking hard, and, and it's apparently theoretically possible to get there very early game. Like you can the the places that you need to get to are possible to get to early, but the chance of us beating that kind of thing this early on almost impossible yo video video quality looks on fucking video quality looks unusually good for me are you streaming directly from your ps4 i am streaming from an elgato hd the old version too this is